It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And welcome to Five Whiskeys Reviewed in 10 Minutes or Less. Are we really going to do it in 10 minutes or less? Uh, yeah. It seems the, unlike us. You're looking at the episode already and you're like, the episode's longer than 10 minutes, guys. Yeah. So that's false advertising. Well, the reviews. Oh. If you add up the minutes spent in reviewing of these whiskeys, it'll be 10 minutes or less or your pizza is free. That's where they get you, in the fine print. It's fine print. But we'll get them done as fast as we can. Let's go ahead and start with our first review. Uh, we're almost going in proof order, but we decided to go with this one because it's young before we go to our next one. It's actually lower proof, but older. Close enough. It's They're fair. Close. It's fair that way, but put two minutes on the clock. This is Rebel Rye 100 proof. Uh, it is $19.99, so $20 for this. 100 proof, 20 bucks? Proof, All right. uh, 24 month old rye. Well, we better get to it because we only have a minute and 50 seconds left. It's citrusy like lemon, but it almost reminds me of clarified butter and like when mm. you eat, eat seafood, like <laughs> yeah. crab legs, and yeah. you get the, the liquid butter with lemon and like there's the seasoning also. For sure. It kind or, of takes me there. Yeah, or if you're to smell the <laughs> liquid butter that goes on a popcorn, uh, that. Liquid butter. Yeah, liquid, liquid clarified, clarified butter. butter. Yeah, you're right. But there's a little bit of mint. A little bit of mint, a little bit of pepper. This is a barely legal rye, by the way. It's 51% rye. I got to say by the nose it doesn't quite give me two years but i think that that mm -hmm. also could be because it's a rye and let's it's see if it works with the palate too definitely that mint i think it does i think the palate also doesn't give off 24 month old vibes agreed which is great yeah yeah it's a uh, hmm. mint pepper kind of that clove spice carry through yep, from the clove. nose it's a clove, yep. mm -hmm. pretty good hug you know it is 100 proof it is uh 51 kind of rye yeah i mean but do you think it drinks like a higher rye though because on the finish i'm getting that yeah that clove that pepper and a little bit of that mint hanging around and while there's still sweetness there yes it's sticking around for i would say a me medium medium, medium, medium short medium yeah. yeah i would say it's got more uh higher rye rye qualities and it does a little rye It's qualities. got higher rye energy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. So Sarah, who's this for? I think this is for a value seeker, somebody who's looking yep. for something that is affordable to maybe throw in a cocktail because it's going to stand yes. up to some yes. cocktail syrups and mm -hmm. things. Yep. I think it's also for people who are dipping a toe into rye. They mm. don't want to spend a whole lot of money because they're afraid. Our value I think seekers. a barely legal mm. rye is, uh, and also a value rye, is a good way for people who are just trying to get into it. Next up, we got Bardstown Bourbon Company Origin Series Rye. Chad, tell us about it. Set us up for it. Here's the bona fides. It's 96 proof. Uh, it's 69.99 MSRP. It is a six-year-old Bardstown Bourbon Company. Act, their actual distillate in here. It is finished for six months in a zebra barrel, which is lovingly called alternating toasted cherry wood and oak staves in that barrel. So mm. that's a six-month finishing uh, process. It's a 95.5 rye. Okay. Let's get to smelling. Spicy butterscotch pie. Um, yeah. Like br or brown sugar pie. It just, I guess, depends where are you, where you're at. Sarah, I sort of get uh, jalapeno um, cornbread. Okay. It's that, it's that buttery cornbread, but the rye in there is kind of giving off those jalapeno. Okay, rice. I guess that's kind of in line with like the spicy butterscotch pie. It's like mm -hmm. the baked good with a kick. To your health. Oh, the first thing I notice is the mouthfeel. Mouthfeel. It's coating. Yeah, it is. Mm, it has rye notes in there. But it doesn't, it's not what I expect from like a 95.5 rice. Right. I think it's like quelled by that This that is finishing. why we love finished 95.5 rye. So it has that herbaceousness, right? But it is, as you said, quelled by that secondary barrel. It doesn't taste like medicine, right? It's right. not medicinal herbal. It's just, it's balanced in there with the sweet, the brown sugar. Little citrus oak. spice in there uh, on the finish. It's sort of like a spiced tea, mm. kind of. Herbal tea is a nice way to put it, like a sweetened herbal tea. I would say a medium finish on this one uh -huh. as well. A okay. little longer than the uh, the Rebel. Okay. But yeah. Yeah. Good Who, stuff. Who's this one for? I think this one's more for your established rye drinker. Mm -hmm. It is a 95.5, but also for those who love a good 95.5 that's had that lever pulled back a little bit because of that finishing barrel that that quells some of that uh, effervescent uh, pine needles. I completely agree with you. I think this is for if you either like Fourgate uh, rise that are finished or you've wanted to try one but you're not ready to play in that price range, go here first. 
Broken Barrel Americana American Whiskey. That's a mouthful. 100 proof. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a mash bill and an oak bill. It does. The mash bill is 80% corn, 14% rye, and 6% malted barley. That's math. And the oak bill? The oak bill is 40% charred American oak, 40% toasted American oak, 20% American apple brandy casks. Woo, 35 bucks. That's quite a bit that went into this for $35. Bucks. Indiana and Kentucky. Corn pops. Yes, corn pops, creamed corn. Eighty percent corn though, so yeah, expected. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, very, very corn forward, very sweet. Gotta have my pops. Gotta have my pops. Sweet barrel char. Yeah, I think the same thoughts on the nose, except that sweet corn mm. is balanced out by everything that they're doing with the barrel. Yep. So it's like got some darkness to it. It's not all just like it's not mellow corn yeah. corn, right? Second sip, I'm getting more. Uh, uh, of a peppery note and sort of a uh, dry pepper finish. Yeah, I think there's a hint of pepper and maybe something like a red hot, like a cinnamon. Oh yeah, a little bit. Kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And on the finish, it's mostly just that that barrel influence and that spice that hangs out. Mm, yeah. Medium finish, yeah, spice yeah. sticks around. Yeah. Not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be on the palate. Agreed. Just up front. Sarah, who is this one for? If you like sweeter whiskeys in general, that I, I think this has some interesting characteristics to it while also maintaining the sweetness, this might be for you. Yeah, I, I think it's also for the fan of blended and uh, finished and sort of experimental mm. uh, type things because this, you know, go with the oak staves in there and then the, the finishing part. And if you're looking to support a distillery that's not one of the big ones, yet gets stuff from the big ones. Correct. <laughs> okay, take that timer away uh, because we want to pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. I wore this because we have three ryes in this. This is our rye or dye shirt in green, Soon, which is the rye color. Reordered uh, on reorder right now because yes. stocks are low. <laughs> uh, we also have hats, the Glen Cairns that we're using throughout this episode, our water glasses. The most comfiest um, sweatshirt in the yes, whole world. Yes, a collegiate bourbon sweatshirt right here. You can pry it from my cold dead hands. Also, bottle cut candles and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that is where we give you discounts on that merch, depending on your tier, access to barrel pigs, the opportunity to participate pay to be barrel picks and more mm. all kinds of stuff oh my we'll be right back Welcome back, and only two more to go. We have 2XO. Oh, hey, I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the Innkeeper's Blend. It is $99.99 uh, retail. It's 104 Four proof. proof. Six year minimum Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. But there's two, two mash bills. Proprietary mash bills uh, that are then uh, put in secondary uh, oak barrels with differing char levels to essentially create four stocks of whiskeys that are then married together to create 2XO. We've got a high and a low rye bourbon. Yes. And then those are divided in half, essentially, and each finished in something else. And then all four of those things are combined back. Now, I love this nose because it gives off such the air of older. I mean, I know it's at least six years. It has years. the oak influence. There can be older stuff in here, but I'm getting a little bit of uh, leather on this. Mm -hmm. Like the first thing I thought of was French vanilla. French vanilla, yep. Um, Kind of like a dark chocolate depth, a tiny hint of Luxardo cherry. Mm -hmm. It's rich. Let's see if that carries on to the uh, palette. French vanilla, my first thought there as well. It does. Perception of age on this. And that barrel. A little bit influence. of leather, a little bit of uh, pipe tobacco. Yeah, the barrel is there. For sure. Oaky notes, chocolate. More of a milk chocolate. Finish, like a chocolate covered espresso bean. It, it's a touch of that bitterness that you would get from like an espresso, um, but still with the chocolate and the oak, which I really like a lot. But I'm getting a little bit of a dried peanut on the finish, which I really like. You would. The first thing I thought of when I tried this is Maker's Mark Wood Finishing Series. Specifically, I think the FAEO2 mm. and the BRTO2. I love those. And now that that, is, that series is currently on hold, if that is something that you really liked, I think you should go here to this Innkeeper's Blend. So it is gonna be- That's who it's for. That's who it's for. You like Maker's Wood Finishing Series and you're okay to spend a little bit more money around the same proof. Go here. And lastly, we're ending it with our third rye. Going out with the bang. This is Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof Rye 2023 Edition. Mm -hmm. A media sample. 137.3 proof, and it is now a permanent line extension. Wow. We know that it's at least four years old, even though it's non-age stated. It's 70% cry, 18% corn, and 12% malted barley with mm -hmm. an SRP of $60. And the nose is just incredible. When I smelled it, I said, I want to climb inside this glass. <laughs> Caramel, brown sugar, uh, oh, baking think, spices, butterscotch. So you say caramel, but I think what's worth noting is that it's almost like a, a vintagey caramel. Yeah, like yeah, that it's rich, a little vintage -y. extra, mm -hmm. you know, vintagey kind of caramel feel. 
Woo! Bold. Bold and intense. Bold. Exactly what you would expect from a 137.3 proof. A little drying. Not holding that against it though. I think that's because of the alcohol content. Yeah, a lot of barrel on this. It's got a mm. nice barrel finish. Of course it's got a uh, Tennessee hug. I almost get like a bitter cold brew coffee on this, but with some chocolate, with that, you know, that wood yeah. influence, that barrel, a touch of spice, almost a little bit buttery up yeah, front. Yeah, I was gonna say buttery gets, up front. Before yes. it goes into the dry because of the alcohol content. Yeah, you you, you sort of expect to have a great mouthfeel because it, there's no water added, but then it's a very high proof, so those are sort of battling. I mean, talk about a long finish. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, it's what I would expect. It's a long finish, but it, I, I find myself going, going right back right to back. it quickly because yeah. it's, it's so good. I like the flavors a lot. Sarah, who is this for? Uh, proof hounds. <laughs> yeah. Also yeah. people who, you know, you just like Jack Daniel single barrel barrel proof products. Value seekers. Value seekers. Value seekers, $60, yeah. Value but doesn't what mean you're, cheap. What you're getting for what's in the bottle for $60 is an incredible value and I don't care who says that that's not right because it's $60, it is. Normally something of this <laughs> proof would cost yeah. LE prices, so. And stop the clock. All right, I think, I don't know, we haven't edited the episode, but I think we got uh, all five of those reviews in under two minutes. 10 minutes, not, oh, each of them under two minutes. Under got two, it. combined to equal 10 minutes of review time. Plus and, some, and plus some, yeah, witty, some witty banter from us. Yeah, yeah, a little frills. If this is a format that you like, and also let us know if, if you thought we were like, hey, it's really good, I like it, it's uh taste. If we were like Speedy gonzales through it, or- if it wasn't if, as good if, a value. If, if you thought that- Content. Uh, Keeping it to uh, two minutes per was actually a pretty cool thing. We want to know, so let us know. Let us know down in the comments what you, what you all think. Do you like us? Do you hate us? <laughs> and then also give us uh, if you do like it, suggestion of another uh, five whiskeys that you like for us to review. Throw American whiskeys. That's that's what we stick in. So, rye, bourbon, American whiskey. Yeah. But hey. That's where we'll leave it. If you haven't subscribed to this already, you can do so. Please boo. You can do so by clicking right up here. The suggestions of other videos down here. We'll see you for one of those there. Thank Thanks, you. Chad. Until <laughs> next time, drink more whiskey.